All right, guys, I have a word for you. And I believe this word is going to help many. It's going to break chains from many people. Deliverance from lust. Many people all over the world have struggled with lust. And some even do not know what lust really is. Many have allowed the world to, 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 to define what lust is. But the Bible, the scriptures, clearly talk about different kinds of lust that you will be presented with by the enemy. There's the lust of eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. These three things, the enemy uses these three temptations, these three things to, 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 to wage war against the children of God. As a child of God, you desire to have this knowledge. Because the only true deliverance is through the word of God. The scripture said he sent forth his word and healed them. The knowledge about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that can set you free. For whom the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. The last of the eyes. When you look at in Genesis, the enemy through the serpent, through the snake, used the last of the eyes to deceive Eve. It was by what she saw when she looked on the forbidden fruit. She desired it. She wanted to have it as hers. And many people are presented with the last of the eyes. You look at a beautiful lady. You look at a wife, someone's wife, and you desire to have that one as yours. You look at a car. You look at possession and you desire to have it. You last after it. The last of the eyes is something that you should overcome as a child of God. Jesus himself was presented with the same temptation. The last of the eyes. When the enemy showed him all the kingdoms of the earth. And he said, if you bow down and worship them, I will give them to you. But Jesus knew the tricks and the devices of the enemy. What the first Adam failed, Jesus himself did not fail. He overcame it. The other thing is the last of the flesh. Many people are presented with the last of the flesh. They want to have things that feel good to their own body. Oh yes, it feels good to masturbate. That's what they say. It feels good to eat and eat and grow in gluttony. It feels good to my body to have this thing on my body. The last of the flesh. You want to have something that feels good on your body. That, satisf that satisfies your body. Jesus was presented with the same temptation. When he was told to turn the, 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 the stones into bread. Despite the fact that he was hungry. He said, man shall not live on bread alone. But by the word of God. By but by everyone that proceeded out of the mouth of God. You should not live on bread alone. That's why he says in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. It should be your prayer that God gives you your daily bread. He does not mean the physical bread or the food that you desire. What he means is the word of God. You need the daily word of God. So that when the enemy presents to you the last of the flesh, you have the word within you. 
The word will overcome each and every lust that the enemy presents unto you. Because there's nothing new that the enemy presents. There's no temptation that is new. He only works through those three temptations. The three temptations that he presented to Jesus. The, the, the three things that, that, that he has always been presented. If you can master them, then you have overcome your enemy. And you do not do this on your own strength. It has to be with Jesus. You say, I cannot, you, you, reach, you have to reach at a point where you say that I cannot do this on my own strength. Where you say, in him I move, live, and I have my being. Where you say that you are my strength, you are my refuge, and you will overcome last. You no longer have to be a slave to last. You no longer have to put yourself above God, above all these things. Jesus said, seek the kingdom first, and all the things shall be given unto you. Do not worry what you should eat. Do not worry what you should wear. Do not last after these things. You are a child of God. Seek the kingdom. If you seek Jesus, if you find Jesus, you find all this in him. You find all the riches with him. But you find many people are seeking for wealth. Many people are desiring women. Not knowing that he who seeks Jesus will find the right woman. Will find the right wife. It is amazing that the world sees that he who finds a wife has found a good thing. And you can never find a wife without the help of Jesus. Because if you stand in the truth of God, if your foundation is built on Jesus Christ, he will present you with the right lady. The right God-fearing wife. The woman that you had longed after. The man that you had longed after. The man who is not promiscuous. The man who is not adulterous. The man who is after God's own heart. I know that is a prayer for many ladies. They want a man who is truly committed to them. A man who is able to support them. Ladies need that. They need a man who is a, who is a figurehead in the family. The man who can act as a father to, the, to, to her children. Who will never forsake them. Seek God. God is setting you free from all those lusts. God is delivering you, young lady. God is setting you free, young man. You may have struggled with lust. You may have struggled with women. You may have struggled and you are changing women as if you are changing clothes. You are changing men as if you are changing clothes. You sleep with, with, from, from one man to another man. But God is going to set you free. The scripture says, There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Abide in God. Build your foundation in God. And you will never be condemned. Jesus is with you. He's ready standing at the door with open arms. He's saying, I'm waiting for your return. I'm waiting for you to come back home. Just as the prodigal son, the father waited for his return. The father dreamt of his return. The father opened the gates, the doors for the return of the son. 
And when the son came back home, there was a party. There was a celebration. They were all happy. God is waiting for your return. 